I think this one's called Bash History, but uh, it's really useful if you use the command line. I don't use the command line a lot, but when I do, I hate typing out the same crap that I already know. Um, so this one helps with that method. So let's say, uh, let me give you an example. Um, most of us, you know, they do a sudo apt uh, get update. And uh, we have to type that out every time, sudo apt get update and shit. Or maybe, uh, you know, sudo apt get install. So let me clear this. Uh, sudo apt get, let me see, apt get install VLC or something, right? And you have to type that out every time, uh, you, you know, you, you you want to do it really fast. So this way is, uh, we'll use the history and we'll type it out really faster than uh, all that whole fucking line with sudo apt get install. Uh, so how do you do that? Let me see. Um, in your uh, terminal, they have a history, so you put history, and you can see that everything I just typed is here. It saved it, you see. And uh, there's a number associated with it. Uh, you see how they have the number, and uh, this is what uh, you know how many commands I have uh, typed into the terminal. And let's go back to uh, the first one. So these are all my uh, ones that I set up myself, uh, so I can use really quickly. So one, two, three, four, five, and all that. Um, so you see, there it is. One is a sudo apt get update. Uh, two is sudo apt get install. But I didn't put any programs. The reason for that is you can type in the programs uh, and just forget this line. You don't have to type it in. Same thing with uh, adding a repositories. Um, you know. And here too, sudo apt get to auto remove or something. So let me show you how to use those uh, these numbers. You have to remember these numbers though. You know, to associate with the commands that is using. So let me uh, go back and um, <coughs> show you. So if I do an exclamation mark and one, it will do a sudo apt get update. Okay, same thing. We don't have to type it out a long time. It was only two characters, right? Um, I believe number six was um, sudo apt get auto remove. So, you know, explanation explanation mark and six, it would just uh, do the uh, sudo apt get auto remove here. See, and I think uh, two was um, let me see, clear this explanation mark two, and then space. Let's say we do like another program, uh, gp rename, gp rename. And there you go. It it tries to uh, install GP rename. See sudo apt get install GP rename, just based on we using the history and then the name. So that's why it's convenient for me. I don't like to type out that long ass shit every time. And um, if you want to, you know, view your history, you type history. But if you want to clear your history, you type in uh, history dash c, and it'll clear everything on your list, and you can start over. Or what I like to do is um. I like to use, um, you know, go directly to the list. So go to your home folder, Control H to unhide, and dot bash uh, this text file here, bash uh, dash history. So open that, and you see it's just a text right here, and it has all our uh, history of the terminal that we uh, used it. So what I would say is, uh, type in all your commands that uh, you oftenly use. And you don't like to type it again, you know. You know the first probably 10 or 20 uh, commands that you want to remember, and you want to execute it with uh, just the, the bash history. Yeah, type it in here and, and save it, and uh, don't clear it. Um, you know, with the history afterwards, just leave it as it is. And the rest of the other ones here are just, um, you know, you enter uh, in from the terminal, and it saves it automatically. But the most commonly used one, uh, you know, you, you type it in here yourself and uh, save it, and that's all good. That's all you have to do, and just remember the numbers, um, and that's it. Just execute it. So that's the convenience uh, for me that I'm I've been using. Um, so that's it.